pay love bucks is rattling back at you one more again. I hope that everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for taking the time out for yourself, doing self-care, being able to meditate, you know, try to find things that, you know, uh, really elevate you, put you in a good frequency, you know, meditate, going out, nature walk. You know, just finding things that, you know, brings joy to your life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's a couple of lines, tell me about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Are you just up to me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that's going through some really dark times right now and need confirmation and validation towards their life path or even their life purpose, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. But I'm tired of saying that. But anyways, thank you so much for the love and support, and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, let me turn this up a little bit so you can hear that in the background. Um, I got my meditation music I got on today is 528 hertz, light music for the soul, find peace with yourself for self-healing, tranquility, and harmony. And I will post that link in the description box below. I've been really finding some peaceful meditation that got me in that zen mode. Um, and you know, you need that sometimes because we always collect in some kind of crazy energy that will have us sometimes uptight and just irritated. So, but anyways, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, we shouldn't take, it shouldn't take a tragedy for us to come together in unity. And that's really true. You know, that's why I love the fact that I started doing my videos, like I told y'all before. You know, doing my videos and trying to find my life purpose has really blessed me in so many different levels and so many different directions. And being able to make a positive platform for many people to come together is so beautiful. And I think we all need to do that. You know, um, I mean, it's just like anything that... You can contribute to the world to bring happiness, love, joy, being ha able to have like pep rallies, um, seeing some kind of awareness, you know, whatever social media that you choose to do, you know, having a group chat or, uh, you know, support group, you know, before, you know, before my, my dad on life got crazy, I used to love doing live and I keep saying I'm going to do that and I ne really need to do that because it's just like I'll try to always like do nature walks and, you know, do my exercises and all that stuff and I need to really prioritize prioritize my life and that's what I need to do because I really love doing my videos because it's just like you know being able to help people you know just trying to find that connection being able to talk to people that are on the same frequency and level as you is so beautiful you know actually having meaningful conversations when it doesn't have to do with gossip and you know doing some negative stuff I, I really hate doing that you know I'm not into you know all that drama and stuff like that you know unless it's like a movie or something we're talking about you know i really don't care for it i really don't unless i'm watching something funny on tv other than that i don't like living my life in that but you know it should not have to take um for something very tragic for us to come together and it's sad because it seems like that's what the world is just fixated on right now it's just like other people are judging other people because of their religions where they're from how they dress if they're straight or gay if they're black or white muslim you know somebody always you know stereotyping somebody and that's really really bad i don't know why we have to do that because it was like today I was watching a motivational video, I was listening to my mentor as usual, Jay Sheedy, and you know, he was talking about the Pulse, um, the Pulse uh, murderers, uh, the killing that they had back like late last year, I think it was last year, the year before last, when, you know, at that club, they had that shootout, and it was really sad, you know, we have to deal with stuff like that, and it just seems like there's always a tragedy that bring us all together from all different walks of life um people all you know come into unity which is a really beautiful thing but we shouldn't have to wait for something tragic to happen to us that's really like tragic <laughs> for us to be able to get together we need to uh 
all trying to find a way that we can contribute, you know, love towards the world. You know, we're on this mission being able to, you know, like I told you, I've been like this since I was a little girl. You know, I hate to see diverse things. I hate to see segregation. You know, it's just like my mom always used to want to educate me on, like back when I was growing up, uh, different movies about slavery and stuff like that. I, you can, you can, you can dare put me in making me watch movies like that. It used to make me so mad. And I was just like, you know, mom, why you got me watching this? She's like, you need to know your history. I said, I don't need to know that kind of history. You know, that's just so sad. I don't want to hear anything about it. But, you know, it's good to educate yourself on certain things. But it was just like being open to something like that really messed me up the long way. And it just had me looking at people a certain way. And I shouldn't have done that. But, you know, there's we should be able to contribute towards humanity with love, positivity, you know, elevating each other up instead of always tearing each other down. You know, being able to allow another person, if you can help another person out, why should, why, why can't you? You know, we're all trying to, you know, be in a better life. We're all trying to have life in a better place, you know, working hard to be able to succeed some way. You know, if you see somebody depressed, you know, be able to give them some kind words. You know, if you see somebody out on the street, you know, and you, you know, you have a few dollars, you know, go buy them something to eat. You know, I, I love doing stuff like that. I mean, there's times I used to cry because I didn't have that much to give and that's all I had. And, you know, and I, I would hear, you know, my spirit guy saying, man, she's just crying because she couldn't, she didn't have enough to give them. And I said, yes, that really hurt me because it, it was just like seeing um this man he was with his daughter she was like probably about 13 years old and you can see it really he had to swallow his pride to just go out there and ask for something to eat you know he was you know in a in a motel and he used all his money for him and his daughter to have some place to stay for a few days and you know he found him some place to stay but he just didn't have them to you know have anything to eat you know so i was able to give them a few dollars and stuff like that and buy him something to eat but then i pulled off the parking lot and i just bawled I just really bawled because I said, I, I can feel that man's, you know, he didn't want to be judged. And it was like, it broke my heart to be able to see something like that. And it was just like, I cried because, I mean, I gave this man my bill money, but I was okay with that. You know, because I knew if I was to be able to bless somebody like that, I know God would turn that blessing back around and be able to help me out. Because it was like, I was like, man, help feed this family or have this money that I'm going to need in two weeks and end up, you know, winning a couple of dollars off a lottery ticket and made, you know, my money back times five was a true blessing to me because I knew I was doing that from my heart. And that's what we need to do, you know, sometimes. It's just like, you know, you can, you know, with you being an empath, you can tell when somebody's trying to solicit you or they're really truly needing help, you know, and you should be able to help somebody out if you possibly can. You know, I can understand if you strap for cash, you know, we are like that. But it's just the fact, you know, I, I, I look at the things that my dad did and he did it under the wire. You know, he never wanted somebody to know the things he was doing. You know, you don't have to always promote things that you're doing for other people, especially if you're doing it from your heart. You know, I heard about my dad, you know, when uh, the singer Lauren Hill, she used to be in the Fugees and she played on the movie Sister Act 2. She had went to jail for some kind of tax evasion or something like that. My dad sent money to help her kids out until she was able to get out. He, he contributed to that, and that was just a blessing. He helped Trayvon Martin's family uh, when they they passed, and nobody knew about that until, you know, these, these things he did until after he passed. And it was like, I was so proud of my dad because those are the things I always wanted to do. Uh, if I was able to have that, that type of access to funds like that, be able to have, uh, be able to go different places around the world and be, you know, do lectures and, you know, be a motivational speaker to be able to talk to different people about their awareness of so just being an empath, being able to be comfortable in your own skin, not to allow yourself to shut down just because, you know, you fear what people don't understand, you know, or you're, you're, you're shutting yourself off because you, people fear you on things that they couldn't understand. Being able to bring love and awareness towards people we really need to do that these days because it's just like so much hell's going on in the world. That's why a lot of us don't like watching the news just because the situation that goes on, you know, like that. Um, 
it's just like nowadays you you're constantly hearing about you know walls trying to be built up you know people trying to feed folks over you know overseas which they do need but we're not taking care of our own communities here you know there's so many different things that we need to contribute to that where we're affecting ourselves as a crazy society now and it's just like it always takes something very tragic for us to be able to join and band together and it shouldn't be that way you know i loved when i can see when they have pride and um on certain times of the year they have mardi gras you know people come together for fun and love you know what i'm saying so it's just like anything you can contribute to bringing love to the world please do it you know don't do it because you're you know you're looking for something to come back to you just do it from the heart do things because you love to do it be able to help somebody out you know, if you can be that person that, you know, uh, can be that mentor of, you know, talking to people that are going through depression or, you know, going to people that are suicidal, you can be able to talk to them. I love to be able to contribute towards people. That's why I love what I do, because like I told y'all, you know, some of y'all been with me for a while been my a1 since day one and i really appreciate that but it's just like when i first came out i did not have anybody to talk to i had to depend on my dad and his spiritual world and metaphysically and you know my spirit guys i didn't have anybody i can run to you know i watch different videos from diane uh what's her name uh diane virtue i think that's her name um ralph smart uh victor uh dodgery i think that's his last name Jason something else, you know, uh, all these different people that had, you know, positive uh, videos um, talking about empaths. Those are the people I had to look up to for getting the way I, you know, doing the things that I do. And it was just a beautiful situation for me, you know, when I started my live. It was like support, you know, being able to open up and, you know, have people talk about different issues shoes that they have to struggle with on a daily basis you know i really miss doing that but when i find the time to go ahead and prioritize my life like that i'm gonna probably do it you know if i can do it twice a week i'm gonna try to do it twice a week or if not you know try to at least do it once a week and you know take it from there to see how it goes because it was just like before i was just overworking myself and I, i'm trying not to do that again but i need to uh go ahead and try to fit that into to my to-do list but anything you can do in your community you know please do it you know uh it should not have to take something you know really messed up to affect us in the world for us to be able to band together as one so i hope you are able to relate and resonate to this video please drop me a line or two uh give me a thumbs up share the video like and subscribe uh share you know i already just said share but you know send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can i love y'all from the bottom of my heart uh let me give my post notification out to donna hardy uh jay cartwright much love to you as well and i will see y'all on my next video know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can you never know your kind words can really take a person a really long way so much love to you peace and be wild.